have you seen an increase maybe in not even the numbers but the, the volume and, and the atmosphere at the stadium? Oh, no doubt. Um, I saw actually last past game, um, you know, when they the fans was lining up the, their phones or whatever, then, you know, the fireworks and stuff like that. So, I mean, each year it seems like it's getting excited, more and more excited. And, you know, that's just from us winning games and people just, you know, feeling good about, you know, the atmosphere and the things that we've created here. So, you know, it's it's been fun. I'm going to be honest with you this year. You play with a lot of energy yourself. How much mm -hmm. of that are you able to derive from the fans mm -hmm. and, you know, their contribution? Oh, no, yeah, you, you feed off the, the energy of the fans, and that's what we were missing last year. You know, COVID was, you know, alive and well, and it was keeping us all from being able to be around each other. So, you know, now that we have an opportunity this year, you know, it's something that was definitely missing. You know, you see the difference when you have fans, especially going against other opponents, it, it plays a big role in, you know, winning and losing. So now that we got these fans, you know, hooping and hollering, doing the things that they're doing, you know, it's definitely helping us. Rashawn, was it good to see uh, David kind of get back out mm -hmm. there uh, with you guys and then just, you know, you, it seems like you guys already have the deep room that mm -hmm. possibly get him back from mm -hmm. the stretch run. Mm -hmm. What could that mean for the defense? Oh, no, it means a lot. Um, you know, David, David is a hell of a player and, you know, be able to get him back and going and, you know, he had a, uh, an injury and what uh, injury that he had and, you know, being able to come back and, you know, get kind of get back into the, the feel of things and, you know, getting back into the scheme and all those different things, it's, it's always a good thing. And, you know, as many guys we can get back, you know, even whether it's from COVID, whether it's from injury, you know, um, it's always always going to help our team, especially going into the back end of the season. You feel like you played your, some of your best games here in the last few weeks mm -hmm. or so? Yeah, um, I think just from, you know, me playing the role that I'm playing and, you know, just bringing energy and, you know, just having fun with everything. I think, you know, it's, it's you know, carrying on to the field. And, you know, just at the end of the day, man, um, you know, I'm just having fun, man. Having fun with being able to play on a really, really good defense. You know, the opportunity to, you know, be number one run defense in the league, you know, just by us, you know, doing the things that we got to do for these next couple of weeks. And, you know, that's an exciting thing. We got something, you know, be hungry about. So, Man, it's just an exciting year for me, just an exciting year for the defense, exciting year for, um, you know, just the whole team for us to be able to, you know, be where we're at right now and have an opportunity to, you know, extend our, you know, our, our season. And not only that, be able to have the fans and, you know, see things like that grow each and every year since I've been here, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. What makes that combo of you and Zach work mm -hmm. out well together, mm -hmm. do you think? Uh, I think the fact that we're both physical players. Um, we feed off each other really well. Um, even when we first, you know, kind of met each other, we hit off. Uh, immediately and you know he I love the way he plays he he you know he runs to the ball um, and that's one of the big biggest things that we we teach is running to the ball swarming to the ball and getting as many hats as we can onto the ball so um, he's done every bit of that and you know love to see you know him being able to do those things and just fit in just as naturally as, as, as he's been you know it's just a nice thing to see. Shane Bowen was talking about what he really loved about you guys this year mm -hmm. it might not always be perfect it's never going to be perfect yeah. but what he loves about you as a defense, as you guys respond, you kind of clear the sheet and, and, and mm -hmm. go back and do what you need to do. I mean, is that what you mm -hmm. would say mm -hmm. you guys have done this year and that's why you're oh, yeah. confident? Yeah, I think uh, our ability, ability to adjust is probably one of our greatest attributes. Because um, mm -hmm. like you said, it's not going to be as pretty as, you know, everybody makes it seem. You know, they're going to be guys that we go against who are, you know, getting paid just as much and just as good as us. And, you know, they, they're, they're trying to win games as well. And for us to be able to adjust like we did, you know, also this past week, we went against a really good offensive line, really good running, running backfield. So um, now that we have another challenge against the, the Dolphins, you know, we got to do the same thing. And, you know, like you, like, like you were saying, it's not going to be pretty, but, you know, the big, the big thing is good defense, great defense, defenses, they know how to adjust. How has that changed since last year, maybe Rashawn, mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think it's, it's it could be a combination of everything. Um, you know, me having a you know more opportunities and you know me playing in you know different roles and different things that they want me to do defensively. You know, that plays a big part as well. And you know, uh, just just really being available at the same time. You know, you got a big guy that's able to be available on you know all the different things that they're trying to do schematically. You got to be able to you know not only be uh, a guy that's willing to make the play, but also be a guy that helps another guy make the play. So that's the biggest thing I've learned over the past two years. You know, you can either be the guy making the play or the guy that's helping somebody else make the play. But at the end of the day, it's about what those numbers look like. You know, as a whole defensively and also too about winning. So. Um, you know, just, just, just from that, it just made me the player that I am today.